Hi, my name is Nikki Al Azam Kazo from ABM 11Y-7, your math visit for today. So we're going to discuss simple and compound interest. So let's find out. Bye. So now we will study simple and compound interest. What is exactly simple interest? Simple interest is a quick and easy method of calculating the interest charge on a loan. Simple interest is determined by multiplying the principal by the interest rate by time, years, months, and days. Maturity value or future value is the sum of the interest and the principal amount. Annual by year, semi-annual every six months, quarter or quarterly every three months, monthly every month, weekly every seven days, and daily every day. And this is the terms and this is the formula we can use to give him problem solving. Which of those formulas we will use still depends on the given problem. Today, we will have an example so you can better understand our topic. And this is our first example. Ira invested 200000 of her money in a bank with 3% annual simple interest. How much will be the interest of the investment in one year? The given problem is the principal 200000 the rate is 0 0.03, and the time is 1. The formula is I equals P times R times T. Solution 200,000 times 0 0.03 times 1 equals 6,000. Second example is Andy wants to have an interest income of 600,000 annually. How much must she invest if the banks offer her a 5% annual interest? Our given is the interest is 600,000, the rate is 5% or 0 0.05, and the time is 1%. Our given formula is P equals interest divided by rate times time. Our solution is 600,000 divided by 0 0.05 times 1. First, you're going to times the denominator, which is 0 0.05 and 1. Now, if you get the equal of the denominator, you will divide 600,000 to 1.01 and it will equal 12 million. Our third example, Liam wants to start a size size store. He borrowed 20,000. If the loan was 40 years and the amount of interest is 5,000, what is the rate of the loan? This is the given problem. The principal is 20,000, the interest is 5,000, and the time is 3. Our formula is R equals I divided by P times T. Our solution here is 5,000 divided by 20,000 times 3. And the equal is 0 0.08. Our last example is Rachel got her new iPad through credit card. The price of the iPad is 45000 and she was charged with a total of 15500 interest. If the rate of the loan is 17% annually, how long will Rachel pay for her credit? This is the given. The principal is 45,000. The interest is 15,500. The rate is 0 0.17. The formula is T equals I divided by P times R. Solution 15,500 divided by 14,000 times 0.17 equals 2 years. Now, we will do an activity to sharpen your understanding of our topic. Activity number one. To start and bake your business, Bea borrowed 70000 
if the loan was four years and the amount of interest is 15,000, what is the rate of the loan? So we will find what the rate. First, we're going to write the interest. It is 15,000 divided by 70,000 times 4. We're going to times or multiply the denominator first. 70,000 times 4 equals 280,000. So we will erase this denominator and we will write the equal amount of it. It is 280,000. Now we are going to divide 15,000 divided by 280,000 equal. It equal is 0 0.053 or 0 0.05. So the rate of our activity 1 is 0 0.05. Next activity. Andrew tried to invest in a bank. How much money was invested at 6% annual simple interest for 3 years to earn 22,000. The given is the interest is 22,000, the rate is 0 0.06, and the time is 3. And this is how the formula works P equals I divided by R times T. In this given problem, we will find the principal amount. The interest is 22,000, the rate is 0 0.06, and the time is 3. We will write the interest first. 22,000 divided by 0 0.6 times 3. We will solve for denominator first. So 0 0.06 times 3 equals 0 0.18 so we will erase this problem and write 0 0.18 now we are going to divide the 22,000 and 0 0.18 and the equal is 122,222 0.22 For a last simple interest activity, Anya deposited 30,000 in her bank account paying 3.5 annual interest. How much interest will be the deposit earned in one year? The given is principal 30,000 rate 3.5 time is 1. So the formula is I equals P times R times T. So our activity number 3 problem is the principal is 30,000, the rate is 3.5, and the time is 1. First, we're going to write the formula, which is P times R times T. 30,000 times 3.5 times 1 equals 
equals 105,000. So the interest of our activity 3 is 105. Now we're done to simple interest. Let's head to compound interest. What is compound interest? Compound interest essentially means interest on interest. The interest payment change each period instead of staying fixed. This is the term of the compound interest and this is the formula for compound interest. M means annually, 1, semi-annually, 2, quarterly, 4, and monthly, 12. Now, let's have an example. Example number 1. Mika deposited 200000 into her account paying 4% interest compounded annually. How much money will be in the account after 5 years? The given is principal 200000 Rate is 0 0.04, time is 5, and M is 1. The formula is FV or future value equals P principal 1 plus rate divided by M. First, we're going to solve the open and close parentheses, which is 0 0.04 divided by 1 plus 1 equals 1.04, and 5 times 1 equals 5. So 200,000 times 1.04 times 5 to the raised power equals 243, 330.58 pesos. Example number 2. Ari invested 800,000 into an account that pays 5% interest compounded semi-annually. How much will be the interest in 10 years? Given Principal 800,000, rate is 5% or 0 0.05, and time is 10, M is 2. So the formula is FV equals principal 1 plus R divided by M, and then M and T. As usual, we're going to solve first the open and close parentheses, which is 0 0.05 divided by 2 plus 1 equals 1.025 and 10 times 2 equals 20 bring down 800,000 so 800,000 times 1.025 times 20 equals 1,310,893.15 next is how much money will Nikki need to invest in the bank that offers her a 10% interest compounded monthly to have 400000 in the account after 5 years? Given P is 400000 R is 0 0.010 or 0 0.10, T is 5, and M is 12. The formula is FV, future value, P, 1 plus R divided by M and M times T. Solution, FV, 400,000. So we're going to solve the open and close parentheses again. 0 0.10 divided by 12 plus 1 equals 1.0083. 12 times 5 equals 60. Bring down 400,000. So 400,000 times 1.0083 times 60 equals 656,819.47. Now, let's have an activity for you to solve. Activity number 1. Lisa deposited 650,000 into an account, paying 8% interest compounded quarterly. How much money will be in account after 9 years? Given principal 650,000, Rate is 0 0.08, time is 9, M is 4. This is the formula, FV equals P, open and close parentheses, 1 plus R divided by M. Now, we will write the given problem. FV equal 650,000 
opening close parentheses 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4. First, we're going to divide 0 0.08 and 4 plus 1. So 0 0.08 divided by 4 plus 1 equals 1.02. Bring down 650,000. So FV equals 650,000. Opening close parenthesis in 1.02. So we're going to times or multiply the problem. So 650,000 times 1.02 equals. 663,000. So the answer of our activity 1 is 663,000. Next activity, how much money would Jenny need to invest in her account that offers her a 6% interest compounded semi-annually to have 2,674,954.50 in the account after 5 years? The given is P 2,674,954.50 rate is 0 0.06 time is 5 M is 2. And this is the formula FV equals P open parenthesis 1 plus R divided by M close parenthesis and M T to raise power. Now we're going to solve the activity number 2. FV equals 2,674,954.50 Opening close parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 2 and then 2 and 5. First, we're going to solve 0 0.06 divided by 2 plus 1. 0 0.06 divided by 2 plus 1 equals 1.03. We're going to bring down the principal 2.674,954.50 open and close parentheses 1.03 and 2 times 5 is 10. Now we're going to multiply all of it. The principal rate and MT. So 2,674,954.50 times 1.03 raised to 10 equals 3.594,915.167 Our last activity, Rosie deposited 56,733.00 into an account that offers her 1% interest compounded quarterly. How much money will be in 3 years? The given is P equals 56,733.00 Rate is 1 or 0 0.1 Time is 3 M is 4 So this is the formula FV equals P Open parenthesis 1 plus R divided by M And close parenthesis So this is our last problem solving for compound interest. So FV equals 56,733.00 opening close parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 4. We're going to solve 0 0.1 divided by 4 plus 1. 0 0.1 divided by 4 
plus 1 equals 1.025. Bring down the principal FV 56,000. 733.00 open and close parenthesis 1.025 now we're going to multiply the two of it so 56,733.00 times 1.025 equals 58,151.00 so that is the answer of our activity number 3 in compound interest. Now you know the differences of simple and compound interest. So always remember, without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is a number. See you again next time. Bye!